Hi everyone, today we're going to be starting to cover the Industrial Craft mod, which is a featured mod pack in pretty much all the PPPs mod packs. Uh, Industrial Craft, I will warn you, is very resource intensive, however it is extremely useful when it comes to processing ores, etc. And it has a number of advantages over the other mods that do the same thing, namely because it is upgradable, which we will be covering in this video. So today we're going to be starting off with the electric furnace, which is probably the, the machine that you want to create first um, with this mod pack. It's very useful if you want to be processing ores, it's ores or raw meat, etc., without having to use coal, coal coke, lava, uh, lava buckets, etc. So um, I'm just going to jump straight into this. Um, first of all, how to make an electric furnace is fairly simple. First of all, you need to make an iron for furnace which is just eight iron ingots placed in a circle, hole in the middle. And then you need to take your iron furnace, put two redstone either side of it, and place an electronic circuit on the top. To make an electronic circuit, you just need six copper cables, two force ingots, and a redstone in the middle, and that will give you two electronic circuits. Force ingots are made by placing a force gem in the corner of your crafting table, and putting two iron ingots either side of it, and that will give you two force ingots. And of course, force gems you get from power ore, which is part of the dark craft mod, which we'll be covering fairly soon. So let's just jump straight into this. You just place your iron ore into um, electric furnace. The processed ores go into this box here. These boxes right here are for um, the uh, upgrades, which we'll be covering in just a minute. So like in vanilla Minecraft, electric furnaces can uh, interact with hoppers. Um, so you can put a stack of iron into a chest on top, the hopper will draw out of that, place it into the top of the electric furnace, and then a hopper below will draw the ores out. So pretty cool. Now this is where we start to get a bit more technical. Here we have a, an electric furnace which has several upgrades in it. Transformer upgrade, overclocker upgrade, and energy storage upgrade. We'll be covering what these mean in just a second, but let me just show you what these upgrades do. So you can see that this electric furnace is smelting this iron ore so quickly that the hopper isn't actually able to pull them out fast enough to keep up with it. And you can see here our power is actually going down because the power source that we've got behind here is actually not efficient enough to keep up with how fast this is going, so you have to be aware of that whenever you're using industrial craft. You have to have power that can keep up with the advanced machinery that you're using. And so here you go, in just a few seconds we've processed an entire stack of iron ore into iron ingots. <coughs> so I think now we'll just cover what all of these are. And we'll start with the overclocker upgrades because they are what increase the speed of what's being smelted. So we've got them right here. So you need three of these 10k coolant cells, two copper cables, which if you don't know are made like so, and then an electronic circuit, which you'll be needing for the electric furnace and all three of the uh, upgrades that we're going to be covering today. To make 10k coolant cells, they are fairly resource intensive. You need four tin ingots around a water bottle, and that'll just give you the one 10k coolant cell. And so for each overclock upgrade, you're going to be needing 12 tin ingots, because you need three of these. Which means, in this one alone, I have 120 tin ingots, which is almost two stacks. So, as I say, you have to be aware that industrial craft is very resource intensive, but it is so worth it if you do it properly. So let's go on to the next one, Whoops. which is the transformer upgrade, which we'll be covering how important that is in just a moment. So to make these you need 5 glass, 2 inch gold cables, an MV transformer and of course the electronic circuit. To make an MV transformer you need more of those 2 inch gold cables either side of a machine block. To make a machine block you need 8 refined iron in a circle with a hole in the middle. Now if you don't know how to make refined iron, I will just quickly demonstrate right here. You just re-smelt iron ingots and you get refined iron. Very easy. Next, if you to make the uh, gold inch cables, the two inch gold inch cables, you need rubber and insulated gold cable. To make insulated gold cables, you just need the gold cable and rubber. And to make the gold cable, you need three gold ingots. Very easy. There will be a video out shortly explaining how to make rubber, efficient ways, stuff, 
mass produce it, etc. Jess will be covering that. Next, we come to the energy storage upgrade, which essentially allows your furnace or whatever in industrial craft to store more energy, which stops this thing going down so quickly if you have an inefficient power source. So to make these you need 5 wood, 2 copper cables, an RE battery and of course the electronic circuit. To make an RE battery you need more of that tin, you need 4 tin, 2 redstone and a copper cable, and I've already covered how to make a copper cable, it's just 3 copper ingots and 6 rubber. So that's quite simple. Now I'm just going to quickly demonstrate the importance of this transformer upgrade. You'll see here that I've got an ultimate hybrid solar panel, which if you don't know is the most efficient solar panel currently available. Back here I've got my uh, power feed that's drawing power from the ultimate hybrid solar panel and drawing it to whatever machine I place in front of it, in this case an electric furnace. Then you'll see Placing this thing isn't going so well because it keeps blowing up and the reason for this is that this thing is producing so much power that this electric furnace can't even handle it. It'll just keep blowing up and you won't get the uh, materials back for it either. So what you need to do is you need to I'm just place this here and you need to put two of these transformer upgrades in. If And this only really applies if um, yeah, the um, amount of energy being produced is too much for uh, the electric furnace to handle. If you've got, say, a geothermal generator, that'll be fine. You won't, you won't need these. It won't, it won't blow up in that, in that case. But with things like the ultimate hybrid solar panel, hybrid solar panels certainly, I think, they, uh, they will blow up if you don't put these uh, transformer upgrades in. And now, you see, I'll just feed the power to it, and it's absolutely fine. No problem at all. It's not going to blow up anymore. So that's just something to be aware of, so you don't get a shock when playing around with this. So I hope you found this useful. Next time we'll be covering the macerator, which allows you to double the, your ores from things like ferrous, iron, gold, copper, tin, which of course is something you probably want to be doing if you're going to be expanding on industrial craft. Hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you next time.